Hello, this is Alex from PHP Academy, and this is a video tutorial created for the new Boston. Now, in this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about timestamps in PHP. Now, timestamps are a widely used um, standard that has been utilized by PHP in order to keep track of uh, the current time, uh, the current date, and in, in fact we have functions that can retrieve say a date in a week or so or a week ago, th just things like that. Now a timestamp um, is a numerical value of the amount of seconds, so it's an integer value, of the amount of seconds from the 1st of January 1970. So, for an example, uh, let's just echo out time. We're going to echo out time, and this is a function that returns the current Unix timestamp. So, let's come into our page here and refresh, and we can see that we're giving, given a large integer value. Now, this value here that you see is, in fact, the amount of seconds from the 1st of January 1970. Now, if you watch carefully, at the end here we've got 75. Let's refresh the page and see what changes. And you can see it's changed to 90. Now, if we do that again, we're going to 94. And if I gradually refresh it, say every one second, you can see that this value keeps incrementing. So it's really useful to keep track of the amount of um, seconds, or, sorry, of the current time um, depending on uh, you know the amount depending on how you process this value um, at the moment if I was to say um, I uploaded a file or I processed a comment or I um, just did anything on a web page that would require me um, or the, the functionality would be there to tell me when I did it for example let's say I did uh, post a comment I might want to um, create my website to show when the comment was posted now if you were showing your users this value they wouldn't really make much sense of it I could say for example or we echo the current time is um, and then I append the time onto the end of that. If I refresh, um, this is really un it's not user friendly at all because what we're doing is we're showing, we are showing the time in terms of from a certain date in, within seconds, but we're not actually displaying in a human readable form. So how can we uh, how can we change this? Well, let's just get rid of that for now. And let's go up here and create a variable called time and give it the current timestamp. Now down here what we can actually do is we can create a new variable called actual time and we can process, process this using the date function. Now the date function works with times as well and it takes two arguments. The first argument is how you want it to be displayed. That will go in here and we have keys of different things to use this. Um, and then the second argument is the uh, is a timestamp. So I'm going to type in time, which is obviously our current timestamp here. So I'm using this date function to process our timestamp and show it correctly. So obviously after this, we're at, we're going to show the actual date. So we can append that on there. Now at the moment, nothing is going to happen. If we refresh, you can see that um, it's blank because we've taken the timestamp, but we haven't actually processed it in a way. Now the most common way would be to do H a small i and a capital S. This is just the way I always do it, I prefer. Now this is the hours, this is the minute, and this is the seconds. So we can uh, put a colon in between each one. Let's refresh, and you can see that what's happened, oh no, what's happened? Um, okay, yeah, that's because I've put actual date instead of actual time there, that's my uh, variable naming wrong there. So let's refresh and we'll see what's happened. Um, oh, we've got ST there. Oh, that's a sorry, that's a small s. Refresh. So, okay, now we're showing the current time is 2014 uh, 34. And if I look at my clock uh, on my computer right now that you can't see, I know that that's correct. So if I refresh, you can see that this time uh, will increase. Um, and as we come into the 50s, we see this time start to increase uh, and go up. And then instead of just showing uh, the normal boring seconds that we were showing before in the timestamp, you can see this changes according to um, according to uh, um, the, the timestamp that's dynamically updating because the seconds are increasing. So we can format this in any way you like. If you go over to the PHP manual 
and search for the function date you'll, you'll be shown lots of examples of how to format this now what we can also do in here is we can include the date itself so you can do something like a capital uh, D so we could say D um, M Y so this is going to show you the date, the month, and the year, because obviously using a timestamp, we can work out what the day is, the month, and the year as well. So if I refresh that, you can see it's coming up with Friday, April 2011. So I can change this again. I can put, say, a small d and a small m. And what this is going to do is this, this is just going to process it slightly differently and show it in numerical format. So there's a lot you, there's lots you can do. I'm not going to cover everything that you can type in here uh, in every way. But what we could also do is we could say D M Y, um, and we'll just change this to make sure it makes sense time or the date time. And then I could say uh, at uh, H I sorry H I S. The the co uh, the colons in here are just uh, for display purposes. So uh, this now reads the current date time is Friday April 2011 at 2-0 or, or 8 16 and 31 seconds. So by doing this I have um, taken a timestamp which originally we, um, let's just kill the page there, originally we found hard to understand because it's just an amount of seconds. However PHP has some really useful functionality in order for us to turn this into um, a readable date. So that's basically what a timestamp is, that's how you use it in PHP. Um, and like I said, if you go over to the uh, PHP manual and search for the date function, you'll have a lot more, um, that have a lot more options there that you can uh, f format the date and time in.